Hey church, how you doing? God bless you, it's Pastor Tony. I pray you're doing well. And I'm just uh, watching a little World Series and um, you know, I know there's millions of people watching it right now, but uh, that doesn't really concern me. You know, what concerns me is that in a few days here, we're gonna be electing our next president. And um, quite frankly, it doesn't matter who you vote for, uh, neither of those candidates are worth a dime. Um, you know, like, like the head pastor of my church said a few weeks ago, he said, you know what, there's 300 and something million people in this country, and those two people are the best we got? I mean, seriously, that, that's the best we can come up with. It's, it's sad, sad. And also, um, like I've said before, and he also believes, is that this is judgment. This is judgment that's come upon us because we as a country, we have taken God out of our schools. We have uh, legalized the killing of babies, also known as abortion. We've legalized gay marriage. You know, we, we, we've, we've taken, you know, God completely out of everything. And uh, the United States, along with Israel, are only the two only countries, we are the only two countries that the world has ever seen that was founded on God, the beliefs of the Lord. I mean, the beliefs of, um, of the Bible and, and what the Lord has, has put forth in the Bible. Um, so basically, we're screwed. Um, it, do, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter who you vote for, it, you know, it, it's... You know, neither one of those people are going to save the world. Okay, only Jesus Christ has saved the world. So, um, of course, I, I do encourage you to go out there and vote. Many, many, many people died giving you that right. It's your right to go out and vote. So, if you don't vote, you don't have a leg to stand on, so don't complain. Um, I, I only wish that... You know, back in the day when when our forefathers, you know, wrote the Constitution, and everything when they came up with all all the governmental systems and laws, that they would have put in there a clause that we can vote no confidence. You know, we don't vote for either of those candidates. You know, and it's it's sad because in this country we're only a two party system. You know, you've got the Republicans who. Um, Well, I don't know. Should I should I go there? Um, you got the Republicans that don't want to help anybody, and you got the Democrats that want to give the whole world away. So, you know, in in Germany, France, you know, in Europe, a lot of those countries, they have like thirteen, fifteen, sixteen different parties in their government, and every party gets the same amount of money. The same amount of television coverage, the same amount of print coverage, the same amount of internet coverage. You don't get more than the next person just because they've got more money than you do. And I would like to see those those rules changed here in this country. Um, but the uh, Illuminati, the New World Order, those kinds of folks, um, you know, they've got their systems in place, but they cannot thwart the plans of the Lord. He's in charge, still in charge will always be in charge. So that's why, you know, I, I don't worry about who's going to be our next president. I don't worry about all that stuff because, you know, Abba Father is 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 my is my Lord. You know, he, he's who I look to for help. Um I, I also wanted to to address a few things. Um, um I, I've been. I put on a video on my channel yesterday from um, from a brother Marcus who has a channel, Find Truth eighty eight, and he is fantastic. He is an anointed man of God. He tells it the way it is. He backs up everything with Bible verses, scripture, and he holds no punches. Okay, he calls it out. He he says it like he sees it. And there are so few YouTube teachers that do that, and it's really refreshing. Now, I, I, I can see that he ruffles feathers, 
and those are the lukewarm. And, and I have had, I think, five people unsubscribe from my channel just in the last day. And I can only attribute it to the fact that, and I didn't put out any videos, just, you know, I, I put up a, brother, uh, a video by Brother Marcus. And uh, maybe those people just don't like what he's got to say. But um, too bad. Tough. He speaks of truth. Biblical, scriptural truth. And he doesn't come on his channel and candy coat things and, and you know, pat you on the little bottom because you're so fragile and you're precious. And, you know, we've all got to get along and all that kind of crap. No, no, no. And, and if you want to know what I'm talking about, check out my video, the latest one I just uploaded. Or go to his channel, Find Truth 88, if you want some real scriptural truth, some biblical knowledge. Now, I, I you know, like I said, he um, he doesn't play favorites. He doesn't candy coat it. He tells it exactly the way it is. And, and some people can't handle that. You know, if you can't handle that, well, then you need to be following channels like Jason Eli or Spirit of Blessings or that Nutcase Claire over at Still Small Voice or, you know, Swift Passage, um, Kurt Jurgens, Daniel at Informed Christians. You, need, you know, you need to follow those channels, those feel-good channels. Just give me a... Just give me a real good, feel good message. I don't want to hear anything about faith, holiness, or repentance. I don't want you to give me any kind of biblical scripture. I just want to hear your opinion on things. You know, I just want to hear your dreams and visions. Because, you know, hey, you hear from the Lord more than Moses did. You know, you, you've got uh, two or three dreams and visions every single night. You know, the Lord told you this and the Lord told you that. Uh, but none of your predictions ever come to fruition. They don't come true. Your rapture date time frames never come true. And you just keep deleting those videos and then changing the date, uploading a new video. Um, that's not scriptural. It's not biblical and it's not truth. Okay. And, and don't think that you fool me. You know, those channels I just mentioned. And definitely don't think you fool the Lord. You know, and if you don't like what I've got to say, there's a really cool button here called unsubscribe. Just go ahead and hit that button because I don't do this for my glory. This is for the glory of the Lord. This channel is for the glory of the Lord. And I could care less if I have 800 subscribers or eight subscribers. Okay, I, I started this channel four years ago, four years plus. I have 800 subscribers, you know. These these dream weavers, these dreams and visions folks that you know, they've had channels for like a year and they've got three or four thousand followers, and that's because you know they give you a real good feel good message. You know, I don't want to be made, I don't want to be challenged. You know, like I said before, I don't want to hear anything about faith, holiness, or repentance, true repentance. You know, I don't want my walk with the Lord to strengthen and grow. I, I certainly don't want to go out and make disciples of men. I don't want to go out and feed the homeless or visit people in prisons. I just want to feel good. Make me feel good. Give me one of those dreams and visions again. Tell me when the rapture is going to happen because I just can't take it anymore here on this planet. And life is so hard. Hey, have you been have you been nailed to a cross? You been crucified? Well then, life is not as bad as it can be. Our Lord, Savior, Messiah, Jesus Christ, was nailed to a tree. He died for us all. He died for the sins of the world. So I don't want to hear how hard you got it. Now, people, you know, are are, are you in Iraq? Are you having your head chopped off for the gospel? Are you in China? Are you being thrown in prison in North Korea or, or, or China or the Middle East or in countries in Africa because of the gospel? No. So, you know, get tough. You know, like Brother Marcus said uh, in his last video, you know what? The professional athletes, racers, at the last leg of the race, they don't give up. They run hard to finish the race. That's when they run their hardest, when they're giving it their everything. They're giving it 110%. 
Because they see the finish line at the end. You know, we see the finish line at the end. Everybody, even these false prophets on YouTube and Dreamweavers, they'll even tell you that we're in the end times. And that's true. We're in the end times. Um, but they don't want to do anything to make disciples of men. You know, it's just, hey, send me money because the Lord told me not to work. <sighs> My gosh. Um... It's pathetic because the Bible, uh, the Lord tells us, if a man does not work, he does not eat. Um, send me gifts. Give me cars. Send, my life is so hard. Send me money. Um, you will know them by their fruit. How many times does the Bible tell us that? You know, and, and the, these channels have their have their minions on there that follow them. Uh, more feverishly than they follow Jesus. You know, and, and God, like I said before, God forbid you go on these channels and challenge them, give them any scriptural evidence or truth, because you will be chastened, uh, chastised, you will be crucified on this channel because, because you know, you're, you're not one with the groove, man. You're, you're a, a you're causing dissension among the brothers. You're you're not just getting a. You don't want to get along with anybody. Did did Isaiah get along with folks? Huh? What about when Jesus made 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 you know made the whip and cracked the whip in the marketplace or in the temple that they had turned into a marketplace? Was he getting along with folks? Did he get along with the Romans? Did he get along with the Pharisees? He did not come to bring peace. He came to bring a sword. Okay? Um, so I'm going to start getting pretty harsh on my messages in love because, you know, the end of the race is coming, folks. We can see the finish line. You know, and I'm going to press on harder than I have before. I'm going to, you know, keep giving you messages with, backed up with Scripture, Bible verses, those are the channels you need to watch, okay? Like I said, you'll know them by their fruit. If you watch a person's channel and all they're doing is giving you dreams and visions and rapture time frames and rapture this and rapture that and rapture this, and they're not quoting any scripture, you got to stay away from that channel, okay? There's too much fluff out there, and the enemy is deceitful. He's very smart. He's very slick. And he's using a lot of these channels to deceive even the elect, even if it were possible. So family, I, um, you know, I'm probably going to get some bad comments on this video. I'm going to leave comments up on this video just so people will show their true colors. Um, I will probably lose some subscribers and I'm totally fine with that. I'm completely at peace with that. Like I said, I would rather have eight people on the subscribers to this channel that want to hear scriptural, biblical truth than 800 people that say, give me a feel-good message. Make me feel good, Pastor Tony. I don't want to hear anything that makes me, challenges me. Don't make me feel harsh. Don't, don't, um, don't, don't make me focus on my own sin. You know, don't 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 say messages and give me messages that makes the Holy Spirit convict me. I don't want to hear anything about truth. Just make me feel good. Give me a real good feel good message, Pastor Tony, and I'll send you money. I don't want your money. My God provides for me. I don't need your money. I go out and work for a living. I don't need your money. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I, I am all about uh, programs that help people. Meaning, see, I'm from Kentucky. I'm from a farm. So where I'm from, if you don't work, you don't eat. Like the Bible says. Um, if you're too old or too sick to work, then... There are programs out there and the government should help you. I get that. 
But if you're just too darn lazy to go get a job, um, you don't deserve anything. You know what I mean? And the sheer fact that you come on YouTube and ask for money from your subscribers is appalling. It's sickening. And don't think you're fooling anybody. You know, you're you're not fooling me. You're definitely not fooling the Lord. You know, and you can you you can tell yourself whatever you want to tell yourself, and you can give five different reasons as to why. Well, the Lord wants me to, you know, spend twenty four seven on my ministry, which of course you don't. You spend like an hour a day, maybe, on your ministry. Um, you know, and you just give real good, feel good, dreams and visions videos. Uh, you're not really doing anything for the Lord. You know, so don't say that the Lord told you to not get a job because you need to work for the Lord 24-7. That's hogwash. That's bull malarkey. Um, if I've come across on this video a bit harsh and you're offended, well, uh, be offended. Please be offended. You don't want to hear truth? Hit that unsubscribe button. Um, you know, it's it, it's it's like it's like let me check on something here. It's like the video I put out. Um, oh wow, yeah, I put out a video three weeks ago, and, and I titled it "I Know Exactly When the Rapture Is." One hundred percent. Smiley face. <laughs> of course, nobody knows when the rapture is going to be. Not the angels in heaven. Um, but only the Lord and Jesus. Um, so, those of you that have been following my videos for a while and know that I get about anywhere from 100 to 150 view counts a video. As of today, that video is at 3,085 view count. So there's a whole lot of people there that just want to know when the rapture is going to be. Don't, don't preach to me, Pastor. Don't, don't make me feel bad. Don't make the Holy Spirit, you know, convict me. Just tell me when the rapture is going to be. That's all I want to know. How long I must endure this harsh life I live until the rapture rescues me out of here. You lazy, wicked servant. You're the one that took his talent, buried it in the ground. And when the master came back, you gave it back to him with no interest, no hard work, nothing. Just... I knew you were harsh. Here's your talent back. I'm so lukewarm. <laughs> um, I'm challenging myself, okay? Because there is not a lot of time left, and we don't know how much time there is left, but we don't have a lot of time left. And, and I'm going to... Sorry, I'm going to keep pressing on harder. I am going to um, finish this race strong and hard. Okay, and if you don't want to come along for the ride, don't. You know, you can um, follow all those people I talked about earlier and, and, and get that real good, feel good message. You know, but if you want to hear some truth, stay on this channel. Go to Brother Marcus's channel, Find Truth eighty eight. You know, there there there's lots of folks out there that are, that are that are you know telling it, telling the truth. You know, you got Brother Barry, uh, 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 Barry Scarborough. That's his channel. You know, uh, gives you biblical scriptures on every lesson he puts out. You know, Brother Allen over at Allen Horvath. Um, you know. There, there, there's just not, there's a lot, of, there's some channels that I follow, but there's very few teachers that I follow, you know, very few. You got Chuck Missler, Chuck Precision Missler, I call him, 
or he is known as, uh, Francis Chan. Um, you know, th there's um, th there's some preachers out there that are, that are putting it down uh, with hellfire and brimstone. And, and I suggest you find yourself one of those and listen to them instead of these these dreams and visions and rapture folks. Okay, and that's all they talk about. That's 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 where I'm coming from. It's okay to believe in the rapture. It's biblical and it's scriptural. It's okay to 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 be found waiting and watching for the Lord because we're commanded to do that. We receive a crown of righteousness for doing that. But if it's all you do, it's become an idol to you. You know, I I I think about the rapture every single day. You know, I I pray about the rapture every single day. I look forward to the Lord's coming every single day. Okay, but that's not all I'm doing. Okay, so get your butt out there and make disciples and men. Get a job if you don't have one. Be a productive member of society. Um, go feed the homeless. Go to prisons and visit, visit those people. You know, um, you know, do something, do anything. Instead of just sitting on your butt with your, you know, sit, sitting on your duff with your thumbs up your butt, um, you know, looking for the next rapture or dream and vision video. Anyway, well, I could just, I could just rant for forever here, but I won't because I think I've, I think I, I've said my piece. And, um, and if you're one of those minions that follow those people's channel and, and, and you have commented on brothers and sisters that come on there and they try to leave a challenging comment and you just crucify them in the comment section because you just, you just want to jump on board and stay on board with those, the, those, those, uh, channels you're watching, uh, the shame on you. You know what I mean? Uh, I've, I've actually stopped leaving comments on all those other channels that I spoke of earlier, simply because number one, nobody listens. Number two, the, the author of that channel, they're definitely not listening. And, and, and usually 99% of the time they're deleting the comments. They don't want to be challenged in the comment section. Um, you know, so and, and quite honestly, all those channels I listed earlier, I don't even go on those channels anymore because it's fluff. It's complete fluff. It's unscriptural and biblical and just a bunch of lies. And I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to get caught into that stuff. You know? So anyway, I love you guys. Be blessed. I pray that the love, peace, and grace of our Lord Savior, Jesus, always watches over you. I love you guys. Be blessed. Leave comments. You can be nice or not in the comment section. I, I It doesn't faze me. Um, you will only expose yourself by doing that. All right, family. Got to go. Have a great day. Blessed in the Lord. Love you. Bye.